just as uh, we have been relevant in the past, we're, we continue to be relevant into the future as the dynamics of our workplaces are changing. For many, Labor Day is just the holiday that ends the summer, but for organized labor, it's a reminder of the hard-won gains achieved by the labor movement. At a time of rising inflation, those who have one are turning to their unions, while others are looking to unions as a solution. We know there are way more people out there who want unions than who have unions. And that suggests that governments have made it more difficult for people to unionize. And it certainly doesn't help that employers are still very resistant to unionization. Larry Savage is a labor studies professor. He agrees that organized labor is having a moment. Dock workers in the UK just finished an eight day strike while rail workers plan a strike next month. Meanwhile, Starbucks baristas in Alberta have voted to join United Steel Workers and unionized scaffolders in Fort McMurray recently organized themselves to collectively refuse overtime work without better conditions. That was deemed an illegal strike action, but underlines the mood among workers. We see inflation nibbling away at wages. We see employers and governments largely rejecting reforms like uh, permanent paid sick days. And so I think people are recognizing that collective action is one route to improve their terms and conditions of work. Uh, and to stand up and be counted. We're hearing uh, from most of our union affiliates that belong to the Canadian Labour Congress that they are receiving an increasing number of phone calls, um, outreach over various different platforms, uh, social media, about an increase in the desire and the interest in finding out how to go about unionizing a workplace. B. Brusque is with the Canadian Labour Congress, which includes both USW and Teamsters Canada as affiliates. She says affiliate unions have even gotten calls from workers at places like Sephora, asking how to set up a union. She says one of the biggest tasks for established unions is teaching people how unions work and how workers can organize within Canadian labor laws. So we need to be able to do that education for workers to, to ensure that all workers understand that they have rights in their workplace. There are labor laws that, uh, that garner those rights and what their particular role is in order to actually receive that union uh, organizing opportunity. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.